You know, my biggest wish for Star Wars right now, and this is probably because we grew up in that generation that got uh, the original trilogy kind of remastered in a way, is I want them to do that to one, two, and three. And I understand that that's probably a Star Wars cardinal sin, but I want them to go back and redo those movies with modern day CGI. Okay. Do you think the CGI was that bad back then? Uh, I I put it this way. Okay. Uh, Episode one, two, and three came out when the PlayStation 2 was a console. We are now on the PlayStation 5. Okay. Fair enough. And if you take a game from PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 5, even Tomb Raider, uh, apologies to the female audience. We went from triangle boobies to <laughs> full on <laughs> voluptuous uh, Tomb Raiders. Uh, no, so yeah, you're not, you're not allowed to say voluptuous. You take that back, you so animal. Yes. So yes, I think that there is plenty of room to remaster those. Movies. Hey, I'm down to see some Padme. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If they're gonna, <laughs> yeah. So are you saying redo the games, or are you saying redo the movies? Redo the movies. Really? See, I don't, I don't know. You don't think they hold up? No, I think they hold up. But I just think that there's things that they could do to clean it up a little bit. Um, similar to like, what, okay. like obviously, I don't want them to put in musical numbers and say. ad scenes. But like, when you look at the Gungans, the Gungans are like, oh, that's definitely CGI. Like, you can improve that. Um, the the lava scene at the end of uh, episode three, I still think is one of the best CGI scenes that they've ever done. But, like, yeah. there's things in episode one and episode two. Like, here's a prime example. Clone Wars. If you go, or not, Yeah, Attack of the Clones. If you go back to Attack of the Clones, that movie's CGI is rough. Really? Like, really rough. Especially the mm-hmm. final battle scene where the troopers are running at each other and, like, the droids uh... are fighting. That scene does not hold up to today's standards. See, so I, one thing I think they did really well with those three is really showing the expansive Star Wars universe. Um, Obviously, with A New Hope, Empire, and Return of the Jedi, we see A New Hope, we see a lot of Tatooine. Um, We see, you know, in the second one, we see, what, Cloud City, Hoth. We Mm -hmm. see, um, what else? Endor on Return of the Jedi with the, the Ewoks. So, I mean... They they did a good job then too of, mm-hmm. of showing different locations and things like that. And I just love that they expanded on that further. Obviously we still see tattooing a lot in one, two, and three, but them going to places like you know, Naboo, which yeah. frankly I love the concept, especially as a kid, of the Gungans. A civilization living in like a lake, like with this whole crazy looking underwater city with these massive crazy like sea monsters in the lake like i thought it was just so cool as a kid like even that i feel still think it's awesome one of mm-hmm. my favorite scenes is that scene where jar jar um obi-wan and qui-gon are in that little <laughs> water thing <laughs> swimming through and there's just a bigger fish and they even make a comment like there's always a there's bigger always fish, a bigger fish. Like, yeah it just they, it truly gets bigger and bigger and i'm like holy cow like i love that so much and i loved um geonosis is that what it's called Mm-hmm. where they have that fight uh, i think that planet and the geonosians are really interesting um i think a lot of that stems from like me playing a lot of battlefront as well so mm-hmm. i just i just i love the different planets we're seeing even just recently this week when we saw on ahsoka mm-hmm. uh, we saw a new planet and it was you know it was just nature like seeing different trees and it was just like this is so cool so 